for the time being we're stuck in this frozen rut with more snow to come for some of us over the next 24 hours or so some fairly heavy snow too now this is a scene outside recently in Aberdeen it doesn't get much worse than this does it atrocious conditions white out conditions in actual fact dangerous if you are out on the roads across the northern half of Scotland overnight more snow to come here many of us having a clear and frosty night but an area of rain and some snow just skimming the south coast of England that's going to turn up in Kent by around about breakfast time it's going to give a coating of snow in some places no great amount but uh, something to be aware of first thing in the morning certainly a lot of cloud across southern most counties the odd of snow, the old spot of drizzle possible across some, some exposed coasts. A lot of cloud, yes, but further north under the clear skies, this is where the temperatures will be lowest by tomorrow morning. Now, these are temperatures in uh, the city centres, but believe you me, in rural areas, it will be several degrees lower. In fact, uh, across the Scottish Glens, it's already as low as minus 10, so I'm sure you get the gist. And there will be further snow across the northern half of Scotland, and we're keeping an eye on a developing area of snow pushing down into western parts of the central belt. Potentially, it could be some nasty conditions for the drive to work in Glasgow, for example, or that area of snow drifting down into Northern Ireland as we go through the day. Some snow for the far southeast then, and that'll linger well on into the day. One or two snow showers for East Anglia, parts of the Midlands. But in between, as you can see, lots of crisp, sunny weather as we go through Friday. But despite the sunshine, another cold day, getting used to these temperatures, aren't we? Fours, fives, sixes at best. So some heavy snow around across Northern Ireland through the afternoon, and that's going to get its act together even more as it drifts across the Irish Sea. So some snow potentially for parts of northwest England through the evening, certainly for Wales, a few more centimetres up over the hills, and the potential for some destructive snow again for southwest England tomorrow night, pushing into other southern counties of England by the early hours of Saturday morning. Elsewhere, temperatures again widely below freezing, so a frosty start to the weekend virtually nationwide. Some snow perhaps first thing across the southeast of England. Again, a coating quite possible. Gradually that'll clear out of the way. Things brightening up from the north, but further snow showers to the north of Scotland, down those North Sea coasts, and a strong and cold wind. Gradually as we go into the early part of next week, things will start to dry out, but that's still pretty cold. Good night.